Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we've got a really, really simple Christmas card design that anyone can have a go at, regardless of ability. We're going to paint some lovely Christmas baubles, so grab your paints and let's get started. Uh, I had this idea just the other day and it just struck me that we love painting the big watercolour circles. Um, and here's another really nice use for them. So I've just got some permanent rose here and you could use any colour you want really, any colour scheme you like. I'm doing a sort of pinky Christmas theme and I've got some alizar and crimson here. And I'm just painting with size 8 brush. I've got the brush really quite vertical to the page and that's what helps me get these circles uh, as sort of close to roundness as possible but notice that I am sort of going around and just tidying them up a little bit. For this project I'm going to let the circles dry 100% before painting in the next ones. So we're doing layering rather than blending. So I'm just going to let those dry and then we'll get the next ones in. So those have dried 100% so I can get my next one in. Still working nice and translucent. I'm going to do a slightly bigger one. So once I've done the outline I just get my brush wet again and just fill it in and it's wet enough for you to be able to go back and just tidy it up. And last one, so just go back to my permanent rose and uh, make sure it's nice and dilute and we'll put one in Just there. Oh, that was a pretty good one. Okay, so once they are completely dry, we can do some detail on them, actually turn them into baubles. And I have got my metallic watercolours, which I'm very excited about. The Fine Tech palette, a bit splattered and well used got a link in the episode notes below for you to be able to get your hands on all sorts of colours. I've got some of my pinky tones which I think will look really nice on these as well as some regular golds and coppers. So we'll get this 100% dry and then we can turn these into Christmas baubles. Right, so first things first, I need to draw in the bauble strings just so I've got those marked out. I've also um, woken up my metallic colours and it's up to you really whether, you could always do these with just like plain concentrated watercolours. I do really love being able to add a little bit of metallic sparkle to some of my Christmas tutorials. So to start off with, um, I'm just going to do a really nice simple one where we'll do sort of stars and dots. And of course, the bauble is round so we need to reflect that in the pattern. So you'll notice that when I'm doing those uh, crosses that some of them have got a nice just curve to them and things might be just a little bit more sort of squashed together on the side. I'm using this sort of nice rose gold colour. And 
my size two tenths brush and just keeping that detail fairly fairly random um, and I'm going to try placing in some eh, maybe some slightly more sort of Florals sort of botanically shapes on this one. So this is a lovely metallic sort of claret colour. Just putting in some very simple leaf outlines. And yeah, I'm just going to build up these colours as I go. I think it's important to try and keep your design simple. So I've just got some little Christmas trees here. because of course you're going to be repeating the design quite a lot. Well, why not actually have a look at some of your Christmas baubles for a bit of inspiration and uh, it'll be not too long before we'll be getting them out to decorate the tree once again which I'm looking forward to I think this year. stripes on this one okay and then once this is all dry we can place in our strings. These colours really do shine beautifully when they are fully dry. So I'm going to take my rigger brush and some Alizar in crimson and I'm going to paint in these strings. So just try and keep a steady hand. And I find the rigger brush is great for the control. To finish off, I've just got a little bit of Alizar in crimson on my four tenths brush. I uh, marked out the lettering first. I'm just following the curve of the baubles. It's funny, when, when you draw it in you think it's one thing and then you paint it in it's just quite a useful guide to be like, no actually I'm just going to move it a little bit. And we added some the simple little bows to the bauble strings. And that is a rather fun, slightly retro, it's got a sort of 70s feel to it, hasn't it? Um, Christmas design to make a rather lovely card. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to check out our Christmas playlist with all sorts of seasonal tutorials for you. I want to say a massive thank you to my patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And if you never want to miss another video, just hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and we'll see you again next time. Bye.